Hello friends, today we'll see plant pathogen interaction, myself Dr. Umesh Kakde. So in this interaction, there are so many proteins and factors will be involved and uh, one by one we'll see. So first of all, we'll see what are the proteins and factors involved in the process of this interaction. In plants, there are pattern recognition receptors that is PRR on its surface while in the plant pathogens PAMP or MAMP that is pathogen associated molecular molecular pattern or microbe associated molecular patterns are present. This pattern associated molecular patterns pathogen associated molecular pattern or microbes associated molecular patterns these molecules will be recognized by PRR of the plant cell and the plant cell are also having the R gene and which expresses the R protein uh, termed as uh, resistance protein. In this slide, we'll see the in the plant cell there are there are PER that is pattern recognition receptors and R gene that is resistance proteins. And in pathogens PAMP, MAMP, and uh, pathogen effectors are also present, which are responsible for that, which triggers the ETI or PTI accordingly. In pathogens, they have got effector molecules called pathogen effectors and these are detected by R proteins in the plant cell. There are two types of immunities, ETI that is effector triggered immunity and PTI that is pattern triggered immunity. Now we will see the details of plant pathogen interaction when cell get encountered with the pathogens. Uh, basic type, there are two type of uh, immunity, basic and advanced. We'll, first we will see the basic type of immunity shown by the plants on the pathogen. Small molecules are present, what we called as PAMP or MAMP on the plant cell has PRR proteins, protein molecules. These PRR molecules will bind with PAMP molecules and uh, which uh, produce the signals that is signal is mediated and the signals mediates or triggers the PTI that is pattern or PAMP triggered immunity. This PTI will initiate the MAPK cascade which will eventually activate the expression of defense gene in the plant cell. Now we'll see with the help of this slide, animated slide, we'll see one by one. Suppose this is the plant cell and pathogen will be encountered with plant cell. In the red color, it is pathogen. And on the pathogen or inside the pathogen, there are so many small molecules are there and these molecules are called as PAMP or MAMP and these molecules will be recognized by PRR molecules by the plant cell. It is a sort of protein which will be recognized the PAMP molecule and which in turn the which triggers the PTI that is pattern or PAMP triggered immunity and uh, MAPK cascade will be activated and uh, because of that the expression of defense gene takes place. This is uh, one sort of uh, defense mechanism generally found in the plant is a basic one. Uh, beside this PAMP or MAMP molecules, pattern molecules, there are some effector molecules are also having uh, with the pathogens and when they inject into the surface of the uh, plasma membrane, the what will be the action shown by the plant that we will see. There is another type of immunity in the plant cell that is Pathogen also produces small molecules called effector molecules or pathogen effectors. These effectors are protein expressed by plant pathogens to aid infection to specific uh, plant uh, species. These molecules can alter plant processes and are central to the understanding the complicated interplay uh, between plants and uh, their pathogens. When these molecules are injected into the cell membrane by this pathogen in order to hijack the plant cellular system. These pathogen effectors are detected by NBLRR protein that is nucleotide binding leucine rich repeats in plants. What is NBLLR? Leucine rich repeats that is LRR protein are protein ligand interaction motif found in large number of proteins of diverse structures, localization and function in bacteria fungi, plants and animals and plays important role uh, in the innate, innate uh, immunity system. This NBLRR acts as a sensor protein and this protein is a class of R protein. 
that is resistance protein in the plant cell after the detection of the pathogen effector the r gene is activated which causes the ion flux where there is efflux of hydroxide and potassium ion and influx of calcium and hydrogen ion this ultimately causes the hr that is hypersensitivity response this hypersensitivity response in turn causes the oxidative burst by protein ros which with with the cell get destructed it must be noted that ros also trigger the deposition of lignin and callose to the cell wall surrounding uh, wall of the surrounding cells with which infection is not dispersed or spread into the other cells or the tissues in this way the pathogen infection confined to the one cell uh, and it will not uh, other cell will not get infected this is very short term response shown by the plants now we'll see with the help of this animation these are the effector molecules this blue color molecules when it get injected inside the cell membrane uh, the it will be detected by nblrr proteins and these are the sensor like proteins and uh, it is a product of r protein r genes uh, r gene activates and uh, ion flux takes place this ion flux there are efflux and influx efflux of hydroxide ion and k plus ion while influx of calcium and hydrogen ion this ion flux is responsible for the hypersensitive response and this hypersensitivity response produces the oxidative burst by producing ros that is reactive oxygens and because of these reactive oxygens or oxidative burst cell death takes place these ros also responsible for the deposition of lignin and callose to the surrounding cell and that is why the infection will confine to that particular cell and infection stops this is the effector triggered immunity that is also called eti and this is not only the way to stop the infection in the plants but there are other ways also available in the plant cells the hypersensitivity response also triggers other cells of ati with which hr induces sar that is systemic acquired resistance which is more advanced type of immunity shown by the plants or plant cells in systematic acquired hypersensitivity response activates the transcription of certain type of proteins in the plant cell like phytoalexins and chitinases both these compounds and enzymes are responsible to degrade the cell wall of the fungi because cell wall of the fungi mostly it is made up of chitin and uh, exoskeleton of some arthropods the question will arise how defense protein produce in the plant cell when hr fails to eradicate the infection complete eradication of the infection it activates the hormonal signaling pathway different pathogens activate different type of pathways because in nature there are two type of pathogens are present that is necrotrophic necrotrophic pathogen which completely destroy the plant cells while biotrophic pathogen which does not instantly cause much destruction to the plant cell with biotrophic pathogen will induce the cell will uh, induce the sa that is salicylic acid pathway while necrotrophic path pathogens will induce the ja that is jasmonic acid pathway both these different type of pathogen initiate different type of hormonal path pathways and further more this pathways activates the transcription of pr genes that is pathogenesis related genes which are defense gene in the plants so finally pr gene will express pr proteins like chitinases which will combat the pathogen infection in several ways and this is how plant immune system will works in the plant when get encountered with the plant pathogens now we'll see with the help of this uh, animated uh, slide these are the effector molecules when these are get the en entered inside the pathogen uh, inside the cell plant cell it will be detected by the nb llr pro lrr proteins and r gene will be activated uh, because of that ion flux 
and HR infect uh, hypersensitivity response and HR hypo because of the HR hypersensitivity that is hypersensitivity response it activates the transcription of phytoalexin and chitinases. These phytoalexins and chitinases are responsible to degrade the cell wall of the fungi and exoskeleton of some arthropods. But suppose if this will not doesn't work in the plant cell and infection still is going on, then the HR is responsible for the activation of hormonal signaling. As we discussed, there are two types of pathogens, necrotrophic and mesotrophic. This necro or biotrophic. Necrotrophic pathogens are responsible. Mesotrophic uh, pathogens are responsible for the uh, salicylic acid pathway and necrotrophic pathogens are responsible for the JA pathway and both these pathways will produce will activate the PR gene that is pathogenesis related genes in the plants and these are also called as defense gene in the plants and PR proteins will produce that is chitinages. In this way, the plant combats pathogen infection in several different uh, uh, ways. So, this is all about.